and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Lucy and if you're a return subscriber, welcome back. Uh, so today we're going to be doing my skincare routine. It's, I don't think it's that big, it might be big to some people but yeah. I am a human being, I'm not perfect, I don't do my skincare routine every single day. Like, I could lie and pretend I do but like, that would just be fake. So I do my skincare routine every maybe two or so days. Um, I'd especially make sure I do one when I have makeup on, like afterwards. So we're gonna go through my skincare routine and then at the end I will show you what I do for my night routine. And I'll just add in then products I won't actually put on my night things so it'll be too heavy on my skin. So I was also sent two products from a lovely brand called Teamy. They reached out to me and wanted to send me two products for me to try out on my channel. And it's mad, they actually asked me to like try it out on my YouTube. Usually when I get sent things, it's only on Instagram. So it's really nice that like even brands are seeing that like they're taking me more seriously on YouTube and I love that. So I've been using these two new products for the last maybe four or five days. Um, so currently they're in my skincare routine, but they're not my you know, holy grails that I'm going to be talking about now. So we're just going to talk about the products I was sent really quickly and then in a few weeks on my YouTube I will just do an update thing if I said like, oh they really made a difference. I can only really talk about what's it done to my skin in the last four or five days. So I have an affiliate link which I will leave below and I have a discount code which I will pop up here. So the first item we were sent was the Teamy Facial Roller and this was the Clear Quartz colour. Like that packaging is just, what the hell? Like I'm waiting till you see inside. Ah! Can you see that? It's like in my silk pillow, like what the hell? It is so nice. It's heavy enough, it really is. I am loving this so far and it is so, so cold. You've no idea and that's just been in my drawer. I haven't had it in the fridge or anything and it's freezing. I don't understand how it is so, so cold. So the facial roller is $29.99 um, and of course that's in dollars. So it'd be maybe 25 euro. So far I'm, oh my God, it's so cold. So far I'm loving it and I, I actually really, really highly recommend this. I've tried a few from the likes of TK Maxx and all and none of them really compare to this and that's only in four days. That's my opinion on it. Moving on to the next product is the Vitamin C Tea Infused Serum. That's the packaging. I'm loving the packaging. It's so minimalistic and like cute. It's really nice. Um, so this is the Tea Infused Serum. I really, really like it. It has a proper scent of like tea in it, if that makes sense. Like I don't mean like your cup of tea that you'd have in the morning. I mean like herbal tea. It's lovely. So the vitamin C tea infused serum is $44.99. Yes, that is right. <laughs> $44.99. Obviously that is more on the pricey side, but so far I'm loving it. And if you really want to take care of your skin and have the money, I'd highly recommend it. So they are the two products that I was sent and I'm so, so grateful. I have an affiliate link, which I'll leave down below. Of course, you don't have to use it. And if you do, I'll make a small profit off it. You can decide yourself if you want to get it though, it's your money. Okay, so we're gonna get right in to the skincare routine now. I have a bowl here. This is so weird, just doing like a skincare routine in my beauty room. So first up, we're gonna be using the Simple Kind of Skin Vital Vitamin Foaming Cleanser. As you can see, I like this a lot. It's down to there. And let's get started. Oh shite, I'm gonna take my watch off. So obviously I usually just wet my face. I'm not gonna go through every single price of each item, but the simple skincare range is so, so affordable and I love them. So I highly recommend the simple. A little bit goes a long way. Um, I actually have another one of these that I keep in the shower and I use it every time I have a shower as well. That's probably why I don't do my skincare routine every single day because I use some products throughout random days so I don't feel like my skin ever really is needing products. 
Okay, so that is my face cleansed. So the next item I don't use every time I do my skincare routine, I'd use it every second time. So maybe once or twice a week, I'd only use this. This is the Simple Express Glow Clay Polish. I have used loads of exfoliators before, but I just feel like they're way too gritty. But this is just so finely milled that it just doesn't, like you can feel like it's working, but it just doesn't hurt whatsoever. Um, and it is the Protect and Glow um, collection. And this actually states on the back with that it's gentle enough for daily use. But I wouldn't use it every single day because I usually have tan on my face and I feel like obviously exfoliators get rid of your tan. I love this so much. Usually when I do my makeup just like at home and take pictures and take it back off, I wouldn't exfoliate beforehand. But if I was going on a night out or wear makeup for a day, uh, that morning I'd exfoliate. I just feel like the foundation sits on it so much nicer. Because obviously it's getting all the dead skin off your face. So next up is the toner. I would normally use the Pixi Glow Tonic, but there's only a tiny bit left. So, I also use the Pixi Rose Tonic. I prefer the Glow Tonic a lot more, but I've been using this one because I didn't want to use that one and run out, um, because it is pricey enough. Um, so today I'm using the Rose Tonic, but definitely I would recommend the Glow Tonic. It makes your face so glowy, you have no idea. Oh, can we just use it and I'll just finish. There's no keep, point keeping a big bottle. Okay, oh, I don't have pads. Maybe this kitchen roll. It's real life struggles of someone who can't go to pennies anymore. So we're just gonna have to use kitchen roll. There we are. Oh, it smells so good. Do you know when you think your face is clean and then like you use toner on your face and just dirt comes off? It's actually disgusting. So next I would usually use the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I love this so much, I've only been using this about a week and a half and I'm living for it. But obviously we've got the tea infused serum as well. So obviously we're gonna be using the tea infused serum, but I just wanna give a quick mention to this that I love it so much and it is so, so nice. It just makes your face feel like so, so good and just feels like you have Botox, which is unreal. Moving on, we're going into the Vitamin C Tea Infused Serum, which I'm so excited to use. Okay, so this sort of looks like it is so cute. And of course, I already said it has does have a smell of tea, which I quite like. So a little goes a long way. Oh my god, I actually love the smell. So I'm not gonna rub it in completely, just like to make sure it's all over the face. I want my face to still be tacky. And then we're going in with our facial roller, our clear quartz facial roller. <sighs> this is gonna be so cold. So, oh my god, it's so cold. So I would just rub this all over my face. So, so nice. And then I would use the smaller side just for my eyes and underneath my eyes. So since I've been using these two products together, I just feel like my skin is amazing. It just feels so like tight, obviously in a good way. Um, but I'm really living for it and I just, this facial roller is just savage. When I was editing the other day, I was just sitting on the couch using this for I think 25 minutes. I swear to God, and it was just the nicest thing ever. I just couldn't stop. So facial rollers improve the blood circulation in your face and as I said it feels like tighter so that'd be like the last elastic elasticity 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 the, oh my goodness the elasticity oh my goodness elasticity elasticity of your oh my goodness who cares I can't say it but it just makes your face feel so much tighter and obviously the circulation and many say facial rollers tighten and reduce the size of your pores, which I'm down for. So I am living for these two products. I, yeah, I'm kind of raving about them. Um, I just don't want to go out and tell you, you need to buy these right now. Um, when I've only been using them for like four days, but so far, I recommend them. So next up, I wouldn't use this product every single time I do my skincare routine. I'd only use it when I have a spot that I want to dry up ASAP. And that is the Mario Badescu, Badescu, yeah, you know what it is. It's the drying lotion. Yeah, I rave about this. It is insane. It literally, if you put it on just before bed, just on top of your spot, 
say it's like a kind of open spot or you can pick net or anything, it just dries up the next morning. It's like a scab, if that makes sense. And I'm just disgusting for some people, but it just works wonders and I highly recommend it. But we're not gonna be using that today because I don't have any spots. None at all that I'd like need to get rid of anyway. So next up is a step that again, I don't do every single day. I do it maybe every week and a half. I haven't done it in quite a while now, but I'm trying to stay away from it at the moment because I'm trying to grow out my eyebrows just to get them more thick. Cause if you know me, I used to have huge brows, like proper, like they were up here and then like, I was given this impression that they were so ugly and then I cut them really like thin and now like it's like trendy to have huge eyebrows and I'm like where was this trend when everyone thought I was some fucking beast that had these crazy eyebrows yeah I'm just trying to get them back to their natural shape so I've only been um plucking here but I'm staying away because usually I oh this is the product anyway so this is a little razor blade um and I would shave my face with it I have a video where I talk in detail about this and show you how to do it just I will link it up here or up there I never know which side it is so next up I would use my eye cream um, I did go through a phase of using the simple eye cream, it's the roller one with the metal ball. But every time I used it, I found I was getting really, really dry eyes. But I kept blaming it on like my makeup and how like, you know, mental product I'd have in my eyes and it was just getting sensitive. But ever since I stopped using it, I don't get them dry patches anymore. So I've moved on to using my old eye cream, which is the Balance Me Natural Skincare Wonder Eye Cream. I got this about maybe a year ago in, I think it was a Marks and Spencer's admin calendar. I actually really like it. See, I feel like with eye creams, you don't even know if they're working, to be honest. We're only gonna know that when I'm like an old woman, not if I have wrinkles or not. Um, but as far as I can tell, it's good, but I'm not telling you to go out and buy this. I don't wait. Sorry about that. Okay, so next up. Oh, so we were doing the eye cream, weren't we? So let's use it. Sorry, I was just completely moving on without using the eye cream. Don't worry, I washed my hands. So I would obviously just put the eye cream under my eye and I do this really gently. Just in circular motions. I used to just not use eye cream whatsoever, but I have started, I know I'm fucking 19, but I've started to get like crow's feet. Can you just see like the way it kind of slants out or maybe that's just my eye shape. But I don't know, I'm just scared that I'm gonna have like wrinkles. So that's the eye cream on. So next up, I have two products that I've been using. Um, I have the Simple Triple Protect Moisturizer. It has SPF 30 in it. It's from the same collection from Simple as this one, the Protect and Glow. And I really, really like it. Obviously it like has sun cream on it um, so I wouldn't put this on before my foundation or anything because obviously I could get flashback so I'd only sometimes use whoa I'd only sometimes use this but I really do like it um, and the other one I use is the Ole Hendrickson Sea Rush Brining Gel Cream. I got this in a goodie bag at the Kaylee Masterclass and holy shit, I love it. I use it so sparingly though because obviously it's only a sample size and it's expensive as fuck. Um, so unless I get rich and famous in the next few weeks, I'm not gonna get another one of these. I just don't have the money to spend on like really expensive skincare products when I have other ones that work just as fine, but I secretly like this one more. Um, so this one is the Oh my god, it just smells fucking amazing. Today we're going to be using the Ole Hendrickson one um, just because I'm doing makeup after this and I don't want a flashback. Oh, it's just so nice. Oh my god, I just love that so much. I hate my face feels so like hydrated. I would highly recommend that. So next up is probably my favourite part and it is the facial sprays. I use the Mar Mario. I use the Mario Bajesk. You, Badesco, whatever. I use the facial sprays. I love the facial spray with aloe, hers, and rose water. Love it. And then sometimes I use the aloe, cucumber, and green tea one, but this is my fave. So we're gonna use this today. Oh, I just love it so much. I've been using these for probably three or four years. And um, 
and I love them, they're just so good. And they're, like even though they're from kind of an expensive brand, I think they're quite reasonable. I got three minis for like 20 euro, which is really good. It was in like a Christmas pack. So the last step of my skincare routine is lips. And for lips, I use two products. I use the Jeffree Star Lip Scrub. This is in the flavor Strawberry Gum. I have another flavor. I don't know, we're not talking about that today. We're talking about this one. And then I use the Nivea Cherry Shine over it. So we're gonna go in with the Jeffree one and holy shit, like I don't even need to tell you how good these lip scrubs are. Like if you've watched my Jeffree Star collection, you know how good they are. Oh my God, I just wish you could smell through this. I've been using this for maybe eight, well, I lied my last video and said six months, but I didn't want people to think that I was a dirty bitch using the same lip scrub for like eight months. But yeah, I've been using this for like eight months. Oh my goodness, it's so nice. What I do is just wet my lips first. Then dip my finger in. How are we all coping with everything that's going on? I'm not coping well. I am really not. I'm having a hard time. Well, like, oh my god, I can't even talk when I have this on my lips. But I'm doing YouTube so much. Like, I'm trying to create loads of videos because it's the only thing that's keeping me sane at the moment. Um, and I know that's kind of weird, like being all depressed and sad, but then sort of happy and like crazy on this. I don't know how to explain it, it's just it does something to me. Being on YouTube and talking to you is just relaxes me. I guess we all have our thing that makes us feel better. This is it for me. As I said on my makeup Instagram, I don't know if you follow me, but I will leave my Instagram here and you can give a follow if you want, obviously. Um, it's my makeup page and I have so many people who support me, holy shit like, and I just wanted to let you know that my DMs are always, always open. Um, quite a few people do text me for stuff, um, just even just for a chat about something or recommendations. And I also have a few people that would text me saying like, thank you so much for what you're doing, like you're giving me the confidence to do this, or you're pushing me to do the YouTube channel that I've always wanted to do. And then messages are just so bloody nice to get. Even if you just text me, be like, like I get so many people text me asking like recommendations on foundations, what Carter Beauty foundations to get. Jesus, Carter Beauty fully sponsored me at this stage. Like I swear I've sold about 200 foundations for them. But um, like even if it was just to text me about product, like I don't care. If it's text me about anything, I just want you to know, like I will never be like, oh for fuck's sake, all these messages I have to reply to. Like I really like, you know, talking to you, so just know that I'm always there. So that is the lip scrub on. I just feel like my lips are so big now. Obviously they're not, but like they just feel so, so good. And then I finish off with my Cherry Shan. This is like two euro, and I've been using it for years. Not the same one, but yeah. <laughs> So that is my daily skincare routine done, but I just need to add in what I would do at night time. So at night time, I would, obviously most days I have makeup on. The way I remove my makeup is I get some baby oil and I would rub it into my face and then I would get my simple makeup wipes and then I would go over it and it's just amazing because you know like eyelash glue, it's so annoying, it's so hard to get that off. Um, so I feel like the oil helps a lot. So then after I'd take my makeup off, I would cleanse my face and use the exfoliator and then just put some night cream on. So the night cream that I would use is the Rest and Reset from Simple. It is the same range as the Protect and Glow. Sorry, my neighbors are walking by some pretend to smell this. So after I'd have that on, then I'd get and just spray my face and put my lipstick on. Lipstick, fucking cherry time from Nibia. But that is my complete skincare routine. I really hope you like this video. I know it's more of like kind of just chill. And a lot of you probably just don't give a fuck about this, but I have had a good few people request this video. So I said, may as well do it. Um, and of course, I wanted to show you the new products. And again, the link to get their products using my code is down there. And um, of course, only if you want to. Um, um, but I'd highly recommend them so far and I will do an updated little chat on them in a future video. I really hope you like this video. If you could please like and subscribe. And if you want to support my makeup Instagram, it is going to be here. 
Is it here? Is it? Is it there? I've been trying to do this whole editing thing at the moment, but I don't know if it's like, looks good. So I really hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one.